Hegel is going to claim not only that uh, minimal awareness takes in sense universals, so sense repeatables of various degrees of determinateness, not, not merely the fully determinate, but that also part of what's given in the sensation is not just the simple differences between uh, sensory <coughs> repeatables, but also the exclusive differences between them. That is, he's going to claim it's part of what you take in just by being able to see red and blue, that you know that nothing can be both red and blue at the same time. That's part of what you know by just seeing red and blue. Whereas, so, so that the sense in which those are different is different from the sense in which red and square are different. Those are different features of a visual field, if you like. But it's part of what you take in when you take in square and red that something can be both red and square. Whereas when you take in red and blue, the claim is going to be it's part of that sensory experience that those are exclusive properties. And this is indeed a different way of thinking about sort of minimal sensory experience than uh, any of the empiricists had. Uh, it is, if you like, a tractarian way of thinking about it, where uh, none of the basic, I'll say, properties exclude one another. Uh, that's the way the empiricists thought about it. That modal structure is not in uh, Experian. But Hegel's going to argue it is. And a question that's worth thinking about is what sort of a question is that? Is that an empirical question? Is, is that something where just by sort of staring at something red uh, and something blue, one should be able to decide whether part of what you're experiencing is that nothing could be both of them? Uh, or is that something that's added by us, as you know, Hume is bound to uh, insist? Hume can't allow that there's any difference between <coughs> the difference we perceive between red and blue and the difference we perceive between red and square. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, constant conjunction, <clears throat> we've never seen anything that was red and blue, both, whereas we have seen things that were red and square, but <clears throat> the modal oomph, that that's not possible. <clears throat> Hume can't allow as part of the experience. And Hegel's going to say, but it is part of the experience. The experience would not count as contentful in even the most minimal way unless it included those exclusive differences.